Praise him, praise him. First and foremost, I want to give a shout out to the Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ, because he is the Lord of my life. Shout out to YouTube once again for opportunity to share. Sorry I ain't come to y'all. I'm at Home Depot right now. So, get some stuff for the crib and everything like that. Much needed. You got a crib house, much needed that you get holes. You know what I'm saying? Much needed, you get a snake. So you don't have to call a plumber and everything. The snake is sewer lines. You can do it yourself. Get it. I'm trying to get this right here. I'm waiting for the guy, Big Tone, to come through and let me know what it is. You know? Shout out to New York City. I want to say this, Father. I'm going to address the black people. You know? The race I'm a part of. And I'm black and white. I'm mixed. Most of us in America is mixed. I want to say, listen. I love Hassan Campbell. I love Ten Toes Down. I love Charleston White. You know, shout out to Wack I love all each and every one of y'all. We must come together, man. All this back and forth. Listen, all of us got some type of weakness, some type of sins that we all dealing with and everything. But us as black people constantly tearing each other down, critiquing each other, especially on social media, is not cool. I'm not going to do that. Now, I will speak about things that's going on and everything but i'm not gonna sit up here and be tearing another black man black woman down we do too much of that to each other shout out to kevin sanders i want to apologize to the women that felt offended by the stuff that he was saying to y'all in that aspect because I've, I've read a lot of comments i heard a lot of things as far as y'all slandering and why that man is dead that man was a sinner just like we all are sinners you know most of us are sinners trying to be righteous for me i'm a sinner and a saint Keep me in prayer. That's just the reality. But I will say this. We have to, as black people, stop tearing each other down. Got to stop tearing our black women down. Stop tearing our black men down. And the reality is this, right? Whether black, white, Asian, uh, Indian, whatever your race is, there's all good. There's people that's good and there's people that bad. That's the battle at the end of the day. Good versus evil. Now, there's a difference between good versus evil as far as us being righteous and us being sinful. The difference is some of us is righteous and some of us just choose to really be wicked, you know. And I want to say this. Let's stop being so judgmental of one another. Hold on a second, y'all. You coming? Yeah, yeah, I'm standing by for him. That's the young brother right here letting me know. Father, brother, trying to get that snake for me. All right, I understand. But how, how long are you going to be? All right, page him again. Page him again. Oh, tell him. Really do the page anything, all right, call up front. Just tell him, like, yo, the customer's waiting. How long are you going to be? He don't got all day to be here. Yeah. Anyway, like I said, as black people, we got to stop tearing each other down and everything. You know, we got to stop tearing certain platforms down. A lot of a lot of us, you know, I, I heard the Mace song. Shout out, to, shout out to Mace and everything like that. You sitting up there dissing Puffy, you know, putting a diss song about him, it, you know, I like the song. Song is fire. I ain't gonna lie. But I don't think you should have went in on him like that. Okay. That's my opinion. You know? Uh, I have my personal opinions about Mace and everything. But I'm not gonna voice him as far as slander and everything like that. I can really go ham on him. I'm not gonna do that. Because Mace is a man just like me. We all are men and women. We can critique the passes. I had a great I had a conversation with the passes yesterday. It didn't go too well. That's fine. We can all agree to disagree. We're not going to all see the same because we're all different. But we have to stop tearing each other down. We can respectfully disagree. We don't have to let our emotions flare up. But now we're arguing, yelling at each other. Now we're disrespecting each other. That's not cool. I know sometimes it happens. We're human beings. We have emotions. We get angry, get upset. We flare up. But as long as we're alive, we're under his grace, we can make peace and make resolve if we want to. But I want to say this, right? This is what I really want to address this morning. This situation going on in the schools, here, here's what I want to say to, um, I tell y'all, I'm on the road to the White House. But before that, there's going to be some pit stops. And what I'm seeing right now, I need to get in, I need to get to the point of getting involved with New York City. You know what I'm saying? I'm setting it up now. My public advocate, congressman, senator. But now I need to, I really see I need to be the mayor of New York. Because I'm going to tell you something. It's a tragedy of what happened with those kids. Those kids should not have died. And everything. Right now, New York City, that hasn't happened to us, and we think it can happen. That can happen. You know? 
You know, this spiritual battle is, war, is real. Some of you don't believe it. A lot of you like to blame it on mental illness. At the end of the day, I'm going to tell you like my grandmother told me. A lot of times, it's not a person that's mentally ill. You have a lot of people that have uh, mental illness challenges. But at the end of the day, some people that have mental illness challenges, they just straight up evil. That's the reality. So, the solution. You know what I'm saying? You put me in a position to be the mayor of New York. I'm going to be honest, because now I'm going for that now. Now I see there's a need. And the mayor or governor and everything. And shout out to, uh, what's the mayor name in New York right now? Uh, I forgot his name on top. I think it's Adams and everything like that. Shout out to him. Shout out to the governor and everything. I just feel like I can do a better job. And I'm not taking away from their job. I know their jobs are challenging. So let me not necessarily critique them and everything. But I'm going to tell you something. You know, as far as the schools, we need to put armed forces in the schools. You have a lot of uh, people that's in, uh, what's the thing called? The army. You have a lot of reserves. Put them. You know, you want to take away AKs and stuff? Well, give it to the soldiers. Let them carry them AKs and let them be at every school for the children's safety. If not, you need to put police at these schools for the children's safety. Not school, not, if not the uh, school safety agents that's there, they're not armed. You need to arm them with guns. For another, for a tragedy happen out here. Because I'm going to let y'all know that right now. I'm going to be honest and I'm going to be so sincere. You know. I have a son. And I grieve for those parents. But I'm going to be honest with you. You take it how you want to take it. I'm talking as a parent. If if I go to, if I drop my son off at school. And one of you guys want to try. Whether white, black, I don't care what your race is. You want to be crazy? You want to go up to my son's school and you try to kill him, all these other kids, whatever like that? You better pray that the cops and them find, catch you. Because if I deal with you, I'm going to inflict a judgment on you. You will, you will beg for death. Look at my eyes. I'm, I'm not playing. It's not a game. Those kids should not have died. They died before their time. They died because they was killed by devils. And I don't like devils. I don't like devils and I don't like wicked people. Because they're evil. I'm going to be honest. There's people that's sinful. And there's just people that's just straight up wicked and evil. Seriously. Anyway. With that being said. This is the solution what we need to do. Now everything comes down to money. If they're not going to. If you're not going to do that. Right. You're not going to put the soldiers in. You're not going to put the police in. This is what we need to do. Right. You need to set up bulletproof. Bomb proof doors in the classroom. And everything. Hold on y'all. Hey, what's up, brother? Okay, I need a good snake. You know what I'm saying? I, I want something like this. And everything is a good brother. He's going to help me out with getting that snake. I want something like this or that aspect. You know, because I see the rest of these are like for drains in the house, but I need something for outdoor. For outdoor. Yeah. This the best one? Yeah. This the one where I don't have to. No, I don't want to. I plug it in and boom. Okay. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. All right, Okay. So, yeah, y'all, his brother said this is the best one. We're going to try this out. You know, save money, man. If you could do it yourself instead of sitting up there playing the plumber, I had to pay a plumber $175. I got it, brother. Thank you. I appreciate you. I had to pay a plumber $175. This is Snake My Line. When I could have got the part right here from Home Depot and did it myself. Crib got flooded the other day. You know? Tell you what, like a lot of wise people told me, be ready so you don't have to get ready. So in New York City, once again, this is where we have to do. If you're not going to pay, once again, to uh, Mayor Adams, Governor Hochul, and everything, and if I mispronounce your name, my apologies, because you'll probably mispronounce my name too. No, no. And I'm not going to be offended. Most people have been doing that in my life. You need to bulletproof, bomb-proof these doors for these teachers. If you're not going to arm the teachers, you know, because I know New York State have a no-gun policy. The, pro the problem is not guns. Listen to what I'm telling you. The problem is evil people getting the hands of these guns. It's not an issue of mental illness in that aspect, you know. Some people are mentally ill. Don't get me wrong, you know. Some people are spiritually ill. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? You know, they're not going to, people, most of them not going to touch on that because that most people don't believe. I dig it. No problem. But we need to protect our children. We need to bulletproof, bomb proof these doors in order to protect our children. We're not going to arm the teachers. And I'm going to tell you something. I run as mayor of New York City. The, I'm telling you something. This gun in my mouth. There will be a death penalty enforced. 
All you kids that want to be doing evil, killing innocent people, you're killing children. I guarantee you, look at me when I'm talking to you. If I am the mayor in New York City, I will impose a death penalty. I don't care how young you are. You know the decisions that you make. A lot of you are wicked and a lot of you like to kill people and you think you're going to get off being spending life in jail and you living, you know, getting TV and all this stuff and stuff. I will impose the death penalty and you're not going to be on death row for years. I will do my best to invoke. I don't care what race you are. I will do my best to make sure you are killed within a year. Seriously. And this is a Christian talking to you. You know, Jesus said one thing that's real serious and I take this to heart. Jesus said, if you cause a little child that believes in him to sin, Jesus said it from the scripture, it'll be better for you to kill yourself. That's what he said, than for him to deal with you. I'm a firm believer in that. And since most of you ain't man enough to do that anyway, you do it after the fact because now the cops is coming and everything. The soldiers is coming, so you, you cowards and you want to take your own life. And rightfully so, you should. And everything. Most of you, some of you are not going to do that. But I'll say this. this in closing, you know, I will implement a death penalty in New York. The murders will go down. Seriously, enough is enough. You know, I'm not no gangster. I'm not no thug. I'm a man. At the end of the day, I don't subscribe to none of these things. But I understand people get involved with gangs for whatever reason. Maybe it's peer pressure and everything. I used to be a part of gang myself. I was a kid, I dealt with peer pressure myself, so I understand, I'm very lenient to children. And I'm all about rehabilitation. I'm not about prison reform. I'm just not about that. I'm about rehabilitating. I will put therapists in these jails to rehabilitate these children because the best thing that happened to the Honorable Minister Malcolm X, God bless his soul, is that he went to jail and he came out to be, as you know him today, as the Honorable Minister Malcolm X. You gotta get rehabilitated and everything. But, I'm the mayor of New York City because now I'm a go for it because now I'm stirred up to the max. You know, the gun policy, you will have a right to carry guns and defend yourself. We will no longer be a, a, a no defense state because we all know situations happen, the police is going to come. And another thing I'm going to do as the mayor of New York City because I am sick and tired of these goddamn potholes. You want to put up speed cameras, you want to put up speed bumps. And everything speed speed be you know but i'm gonna make sure these potholes and infrastructure is eliminated so you and our cars will stop being tore up and this to let y'all know for those that's watching the video if you get a pothole a pothole mess up your axle your tire whatever go to your mechanic get the receipt and you and you call the controller's office and they will reimburse you how long i don't know hold the city accountable for that call 311 if you see potholes sinkings infrastructure anything that you see you call 311 they will send the people out 15 days if it's a pothole crack in the street sunken in the street take probably about 60 days they will investigate it nine times out of ten they will do it and if not just keep calling i've got a lot of potholes and stuff and everything repaired you know they're tired of me calling but i'm gonna keep calling you know why because i pay taxes just like you and i most most of you pay taxes out here too in new york queens whatever Brooklyn, Bronx, shout out to all the boroughs. Call 311 for all those who are driving. I mean, your car's getting messed up. You got to constantly change your tires and all this stuff because the streets are bad. You know. But please, please, to the government. Not to, the issue is not gun control. The, ins, the issue is security. You know. We need, in New York State, a license to carry arms. The arms shouldn't be put in certain people's hands, of course. We know that. You know, it need to be stricter gun regulations. But in New York State, it's a defensive state. Somebody come and rob your house and you got a gun and you kill them, you going to jail too. I'm the man in New York, that won't be the case. Period. With that being said, I still got to talk to y'all about uh, laziness and that aspect. Because I didn't touch on that on Sunday, I just didn't have the time. But let me make my purchase. I will talk to you guys soon, alright? Jesus bless.